Good evening, 11.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, October 13th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I want to do this quick update while I have a chance. My son's, he's a little busy right now because he's caught up with a few of his toys, so he gave me a quick chance because he likes to spend the night with me. He likes to spend the night with Dad, so he's four, and... uh so he's got a lot of energy tonight, but he's doing his own thing, peeking on him right now through the door, just making sure he doesn't come running out of that room. But I wanted to go over XRP, I want to go over XLM and DGB very quickly, and then we'll see what happens. So XRP is up 0.04% since the flip of the clock. We're at about 0.4854. What we're looking for this weekend is to see if we can make any kind of playback up, and are we going to retest this 20-day and the daily at about 50 cents. It's a 506 or 504. But I want to see if we're going to retest that. Or do we have the continuation this weekend? We're going to have a little continuation in the technical analysis when we get into XLM very quickly after this. And you'll see how it could be giving us a look into the future. Giving us some foresight into what XRP could do. And this weekend, if we don't make it back up to 50 cents, could we come up here and get a rejection at the pattern breakdown at about 494? That seems to be likely what could happen. And then the 2020 rising channel and the falling channel support on this current formation both line up at about the 414, 415 area. So that looks like we could be trending back into that area with the rejection here. But we would need a rejection and a break of this inverted head and shoulders. If we did break up, you'd be looking at first you have to get over this 493, break over the 502, and then ultimately get up and over this 54 cent area and try to push out to the... Um, top of this pattern formation it's way over the top but it's the rising channel resistance that'll be right around 61 and a half cents but that's so far up that it's it's a long way or about 62 and a half if you go into that area but it seems to be trending more like it's coming down to the bottom of the rising channel like i said it's right around that 415 level now that's what i wanted to show with xrp with xlm is ladies and gentlemen is it's showing What's about to happen with XRP? You see how it's broken down from where XRP's at. Now the technical move on a breakdown and confirmation. We haven't got the confirmation of even a 20-day rejection on the daily. So this weekend, I'd be looking for a return rally, probably up to 10.95. Maybe somewhere around that 11.3 or 11.5 area to retest the actual formation. But the technical breakdown, if we can't get back within the formation, is right around $0.08. Cents. So be aware of that. And is that foreshadowing what's going to happen with XRP next? XDC is one I really wanted to hit as well. XDC is showing a resistance here. If it gets rejected, we've had the bearish cross in the daily time frame. We broke down this formation. If you just extend this out, we broke down to the bottom side. And now we can see this is a problem, a very big problem. If we get rejected here, we would lose the 200 day. So let's see if we get rejected here, if we break back into the formation. You do not want to see a rejection at five cents if you want this to continue breaking up. This looks like it needs to continue breaking down, but it did hold the 200 day at four or five. If it loses that, the most likely pattern that it's going to come to, if we do lose this formation and do it profoundly, you're going to have to come back and try to reestablish somewhere. And it's probably going to be around that three seven area, if I had to guess. 344, four, you murk your way across about the 355 five area. But watch out for a sneaky W reversal possibly forming here. So let's just pay attention there before we give up on this. So that's what I see with XDC. DGB, because I'm this is getting a little long, so I gotta go check on my son. Make sure you hit that like button as that will greatly help this content push through the algorithm. If you appreciate my content, I just want to thank the we've had about 13 new subscribers today. We're down, we were right around uh 18,501 now we're up to 18,514 the last i checked so thank you all so much for the 13 new subscribers the last 24 hours it means the world to me and i love seeing new people in here so make sure you turn that bell notification off if you're new and if you're watching the content and you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and be a part of this fantastic community especially if you like xrp dgb we're still within this wider formation we did break down the short-term targets and now we're looking to see if we can come up. Are we going to get a rejection here at like 631 or the 65 area, 0065? Or do we finally break down this wider pattern? We'll see what happens. If we can hold this formation, it would be a mighty return if we can get back over this area. Back up to like that 00747. But we've got a little bit to deal with here because if we break down, we'd be at 528. But this looks like it's kind of like a descending wedge here. 
but it could be a little bear flag as well. So the technical target would be around 528 on a breakdown. So just be aware. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything on this update, please hit that like button. I'm going to release this. And I'm going to go check on my son.